I think back to that time, you know, there was a lot of just shock and sadness at the, the diagnosis. There was a time there where I thought I might not ever drive again, let alone be able to get back to motorsport. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, <laughs> has been hot at the front here on the opening day of Targa High Country and these two boys, Jeff and Damon, they're the boys that have mastered it but tell me Jeff about this car, it's been wonderful watching it today. Yeah we've waited two years to come here and go up the mountain and boy did the car deliver today. I think it's the best stage in the whole championship and we just had a ball. What's so special about this car? I mean we know it's a Porsche but what's so special about it? I think it just does everything well. I mean, apart from not having four-wheel drive in the wet, but you know, on these kind of roads, in, in the dry, it's an absolute weapon. It's a beast. It really is a beast. Damon, you're sitting in the co-driver's seat. Tell me about that experience today. Oh, today's been really smooth. This car doesn't do anything wrong. Um, and Jeff hasn't made a mistake all day. That run up the mountain, it is something special. So can't wait to do that again on Sunday. Bumpy technical roads, well they seem to suit Morton and Nikolai's Porsche to perfection. The 911 ending the day with a commanding lead. Seemed to go to plan. Yeah, we were very surprised this morning down Marimba. We had a lot more grip than yesterday. We ran it on the softer setting and it just seemed to really grip up well. So we got off to a great start and that gives you a lot of confidence for the rest of the day when you have a first stage that goes really well. Still learning this car, obviously. There's still things that are coming to you with the car. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, today with all of the different stages, there is a fair bit of different characteristics, like a lot of fast open stuff, a lot of 200, but also some tight, twisty, bumpy stuff. Obviously, the street stage to end the day, it's a bit special, isn't it? Yeah, look, I had a bit of fun. Um, I think, you know, when you come into this sort of thing with a, a good lead, you're not going to take any sort of risk, but I just like throwing the car around. You can't really help yourself. and watches. <laughs> I'm not sure. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think, Betty Boy? Style is a word that you've always got to bring to certain things. Shut up! Shut up! I think that's it. They're not pink. <laughs> Get me a pink pair and I'll wear them. <laughs> Yes! 
Good job, mate. Awesome job. You are the winner of Targa High Country. Yes! Jeff awesome. Damon, I have to say you many, many congratulations. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey to get to this point, Jeff. Yeah, it has. Six years ago um, was my first event here in a Red Elise TSD. I wasn't sure like how it was going to go or anything like that. I didn't really know anything about rallying. But what I did find out was this is a sport for me and I just wanted to do it as much as I could. So after that, I decided I wanted to do the GT Sports Trophy. So 2017, I won Target Tasmania in GT Sports. The next year, I went back in Rookie Rally, which is open competition, and I won that. And then I've just been progressing on from there. From that to the top step of the podium. And Damon, you've been there for a fair part of the journey. What Jeff puts into these rallies, honestly, he's earned this. It is incredible. I've never sat with someone that puts in 110% all the time. It's been a hell of a battle to get to this point. And at one point, you didn't think you were going to get here. Yeah, so back in 2010, I was diagnosed with brain cancer. And at that point, I thought I might never drive a car ever again, which as a motorsport enthusiast is the last thing that you want to hear. So to go from that to getting my road license back and then eventually in 2016, I got my CAMS license. The first event that I ever did with that CAMS license was come here and do TSD in my Red Elise. It's an amazing story and it's an amazing kind of you know, lesson in, in never giving up, you know, and never looking on the dark side and always looking on the bright side. Absolutely. I think brain cancer is a terrible thing, but from my point of view, I just want to inspire people to never give up. Like, whatever happens, you just got to look forward and anything's possible.